Hello and welcome to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I almost got run over there by these coach guys. Anyway, let's see what I should do now. Oh, there wasn't any other quests in here. What is this? Oh, it's the <laughs> crime area. And that's one of the gunslingers. They're a bit far off. Guess I'll head back to camp. Come on, horse. They didn't have any brushes in this town. Where's my horse? can hear him. Oh, there he is. It's not as wild as the horses in... or the old horse, the white one. Her stamina has increased. This is so RPG-ish. <laughs> I'm a bit surprised, actually. Oh. I hope I don't end up in that. <laughs> That's his family, perhaps? Oh yeah, goodbye. <laughs> That's the wrong answer. Yep. Sorry, guy. Couldn't rescue you. I wonder if you can actually. Seems to be quite um, sandboxy this game. <laughs> In lack of a better word. Yep. Now, this time I should see if I can find any. critters to bring home. Oh, that's a foot. Oh. What has happened here? Did something eat him? Oh. Oh. It's fresh too. Let's uh, just have a peek to see if it's <laughs> if the, if the perpetrators are around still. Probably not. Easy now. Something happened here at least. <laughs> just not. Probably arrived a bit too late. Any birds? I need two more of them. Ah, I can see a bird. Far back in the distance. Probably can't hit it. Oh! Got it. Do I just pluck feathers in this? Uh, oh, oh, goodbye. Do I pluck feathers here or is it pluck? It's not food. <laughs> it's a hawk. Two hawk feathers. Okay, Gamey bird meat. How about this poor fellow that tried to eat it?
Maybe I should have waited with skinning it. Flight feathers can also be used to craft better arrows. That's quite interesting. Good fox belt. So if I put it on there, can I still bring the meat in? Even if I don't... Oops. I don't think it's uh, that it's a good uh, thing to eat uh, carnivore animals, Carn carnivorous animals. <laughs> Come on, boy. Well, if you're hungry enough, you'll eat anything. Back to camp. Horse is actually a bit low in health. John? In. Hope you're gone. Made a oh! It's our friend. Yeah. Hi. There. Hi. I brought the fox. Did it say camp funds 75 bucks? Is that the total amount of funds that is here or is it how much we brought in now? Hi there. Here's the meat. Good fox carcass. All right. Board's good. Let me see. Board I'm not giving the pelt. Grateful for being bored, lady. Good job, Mr. Soon Morgan. Enough, gonna be scared. I'm very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. So what do I need for this thing? Purchase leather working tools. Upgrade the medicine wagon twice. Donate five animal carcasses to Pearson. Purchased leatherworking tools. I think I should do that. <laughs> Alligator skull. <laughs> so they really want you to go out and hunt. Purchased leatherworking tools. So all of these are locked. That isn't. Perfect pronghorn carcass. Perfect cow hide. Maybe I should hunt <laughs> some cows. All right. I'll keep my eye out for some good material. I will. Now, who should we visit next? Dutch Vandalinden, or let's see what Uncle has is up to. He's <laughs> probably drunk. Although he didn't seem that drunk in the last game at the end. Just a bit old and haggard. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he, never mind. <laughs> He's. He, has, he didn't change. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? But his beard is clean. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head in? Strange town? indeed. See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. 
Go check the horses are ready. <laughs> if you gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw All right. spare you? You can come. <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got Who are you going to rob? <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like ah, we're taking the wagon. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. <laughs> Let's go. All right. You know the way? Yeah. Me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> <laughs> Already? Ooh, all that talk about how the first thing we did when you arrived in town. I bet I shouldn't drive this too fast in the uh, off-road lanes, or... <laughs> it isn't exactly a modern road. Well, they're happy. Curious of what exactly they're going to do, but I, I suspect they're going to pickpocket a few people. <laughs> he is. Oh. Where did it go? Oh, it's there. Okay. Let me handle it. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really. <laughs> Hi there. Why are you standing on the other side? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'll try if you give me some money. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Yeah, I see it. I'll rope it in. Come now, horse. Don't be like that. Oh. Easy. Calm in that way. Once calmed, you will be able to lead the ride or ride the horse back to its owner. You ain't so bad. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I know horses. Just don't hit me <laughs> if there was a train. There wasn't, uh, luckily. Here's your horse. Here you go. You have some dollars. A gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, oh. Anyway, thank you. No money. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> yep, let's go. Regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? That means you got a heart. A small one perhaps hidden deep inside. There's a train. And you have it your pulse. Maybe I should have hogged tied that guy and put him on the tracks or something. <laughs> We would have stolen the horse. Smell those sheep. Or is that uncle? Very funny. This looks 
He probably smells worse than them. That's where we came from. These horses are lazy. Go left here, down the main street. Bears always on the right. Okay. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Bound oh yeah, we can hunt other criminals. That's right. Ooh yes, we can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there. Near the stables. Ah, it's stables. Alright. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Go and drink. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we'll start at the salute. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Am I going to follow them or so that's how you follow Uncle? Yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one shot kid. <laughs> okay. And why here? Yeah. That's why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> I want to know why. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. <laughs> no. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Rats with the plague, that's uh This is the place now. Come on. Actually been a bit disputed if the rats were the ones to bring Black Death to Norway because so, originally they said Came with rats on the ship to Bergen. Yeah, that guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. Oh yeah. Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Where is it? Buy a cigar. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Wait. Hey, you the fella who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? Sure did. Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure, well, these things happen. Where's the cigar? Oh, here it is, maybe. I don't reckon folk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. Well, it's all done now. Rouse. Am I getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Got the cigar. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. He does that. What does the cigar do? Can I swap an item? No. Crafting tools? Oh, I'm supposed to buy, I need to buy the leatherworking tools. No, no, no. Oh, here's the cigars. Cigarettes. Greatly restores dead eye and destroys <laughs> stamina core. Okay. So, Bet the ladies are in trouble soon. <laughs> here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Oh, you did? Oh. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising ah. over to Brazil. Okay. A train laden to with Brazil. baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. 
as to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel, they were picking up some drunken fellas that uh -huh. they going to rob. <laughs> That's so... They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll That's one way to do it as well. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That oh, she's in trouble. Not look ideal. Excuse nope. me. Let's uh, fix that. Hey, stop it. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. Yeah, There's you better run. Here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Do we have a jewel? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. <laughs> Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Am I still drunk? Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Yeah. If I can get up there, yeah, I can. <laughs> so this is the hotel. Nope, oh, that's closed. Can you move a bit, baby? I want to... Pass. <laughs> oh, there we go. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, where's my friend? A bath, perhaps? Maybe that would be a good idea. Although Marston didn't bathe at all. Oh, here it is. Or maybe not. Maybe it's this door. Kick door. Yep. A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Fight time. I paid for nothing. Yep, we did. Think you two could spam me? Am I killing him? Ooh. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? That's not, not what well. I was planning. <laughs> okay. Fine. You sure? She has been hit a bit. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just man. But let's get out of here. This guy's dead. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Everything's okay up there? Keep investigating. Are you finding jobs for us? After you. Goodbye. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I don't You're much welcome. like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched <sighs> me. Arthur did a lot worse to him. All right then. Yeah. Hey, He's dead. They're looking at us. Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, so never been there. From there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw <laughs> you. Come here. Cool. Get. I don't what's, like it. What's he up to? Or he up to? Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. And how did my horse suddenly get here? <laughs> ah. Get back here right now. So uh, it wasn't my horse. Where did this guy go? Oh, he's there. <laughs> he has a really fast horse. I don't want to shoot him. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, crap. You have to help me. Please do something. 
I'll question you. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. And you better remember that. Because you were spreading rumors. <laughs> yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. Well... All right. All right. Come on. You don't deserve it, though. And you better be grateful. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. <laughs> I'm a mess. Well, you sure are. Dead. There is that. Me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want oh, you have some cash? No, a pen. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You better remember that. See, <laughs> I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, no, that's not the right now, answer. No, not never. Now we can run. <laughs> think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. <laughs> oh yeah. Good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not not one lick. Not one. Is that the plan? No, it's not. In this year old mine. Do I have to return his horse? Come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir. A horse bit with a horse head. That's why it is your, your temporary horse. Yeah, I'll return it. I think I'm a bad cowboy. <laughs> or bad bandit. Where did I steal him? Bounty hunting? I think I took it from here. And I'm going the wrong way. <clears throat> Here's the show. Yeah, you'll get it. I just borrowed it. Here's your horse back, friend. You really were just borrowing it. I was. Appreciate it. Evening. Now about that barber. Are you open yet? <laughs> He's getting tired. But... <laughs> Who are you? Are you mad? We don't need your type around here. Come on, there's got to be a fight every night in that shithole. Show some respect next time. I showed respect. You're beating up on Bill. And the barber is back here? No, it's in here. I think. There's the barber. Hey. <laughs> What's up with you? 
Oh, he's extremely drunk. Oh, I was here the other day. Cut my hair. Ah. Trim. Just a little bit. Who made it? <laughs> I think this dial is okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's just uh, hair and things customization. Should probably get some sleep. Wasn't this the hotel? Oh, crap. <laughs> so, bath is 25 cents. I really don't need any more trouble. No, I'm not going to give you any trouble. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. Yeah. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Maybe a room. You have rented a room and can use it to save progress and change outfits. A bath? How do I bathe? Is that in here? Oh yeah, it is. There we go. <laughs> Scrub head, you even get a bottle of something. Would you like some extra help there? Hmm. Maybe that would be okay. Just relax. I'll take care of you. You let me know if you need anything, all right? Sure will. Anyway. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. I can I don't chat. Around here. <laughs> but that's, that's it for this episode, so until next time, bye-bye.